Hey there, I'm Drew. These three welding rigs are set up differently for specific purposes, and I'm going to explain why. Hopefully you've seen my recent YouTube video where I gave you a tour of the tool trailer that I take with me on the road. I pulled out all the tools and equipment and showed you what I use every day. If not, go check it out. But I didn't really get into the welder setup. That's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you the machines, the leads, and the torch setups that I use. I do mostly process piping and sanitary welding. Also do a little bit of utility piping or structural TIG welding. And these three setups allow me to do just about anything I need to within the food and beverage industry. Of course, a lot of this stuff is a matter of opinion. Everybody seems to have their own setup. I'm just gonna show you what I've been using now for the last couple years. So this here is the bench rig. We set it up in the work area. It usually doesn't go very far. It's a little lighter duty because we're typically not welding structural in the bench, a lot of sanitary tubing. Uh, this is the Miller Max Star 161 STH. So I do have high freak capabilities. If I need to do some precision welding, I can plug in the foot pedal and use it. But for the most part, we're just running lift arc. Like I said, this is a light duty rig. So we got the four gauge ground lead. It's only 25 feet long, not going too far from the bench. The torch lead is also 25 feet long. It's 150 amp torch from CK. And as far as the torch goes, it's the WP 17 FV. F stands for flex head and V stands for the gas valve we got here. We don't really run our argon through the machines. I don't like the small delay and I think it's simpler to run it straight from the bottle to the gas hose. And let me show you how I do that. So this is the power block that I like to run. Uh, the argon comes straight from the regulator into the power block and exits into the torch on this side. Current comes from this from the welder in this one foot lead that bolts right onto that power block. I do really like the Victor dual flow meters. Uh, I put a six inch gas hose on each side with quick disconnect so I can plug in my torch to the one side and my purge hose to the other. Uh, as far as my purge hoses, I usually just buy compressed air hose with the quick disconnects, where I can plug in either to my purge pieces on this end or my regulators on that end. All right, moving on to the field rig. This is an old Maxstar 150 STL. This setup is similar to the first one. It's just a little bit longer and more heavy duty. So for the torch lead, I have two 25 footers hooked together back to back. These are also 150 amp torches, but a little heavier than the red CK torches. As far as the torch itself, it's still a WP17 FV with the number eight cup and a 332 gas lens. I have the same regulator set up on this one. The power block on this one is a different style. It's made to clamp a stinger straight to it. So I have this one foot stinger and the ground cable is a 50 foot six gauge lead. And the purge hose is the same deal, just a little longer and heavier. And finally, the big boy. This is the Maxstar 210 DX. If we do get in any structural or SCED 40 piping, this is the rig that we use. Got 50 foot ground and torch leads. 225s back to back with 200 amp torch leads. Once again, we don't run gas through the welder. There's a connector here for the two leads and the power block right here coming out of the welder. As far as the torch goes, this is the WP26 FV, running an eighth inch tungsten in this one with a gas lens and currently have the number 12 cup set up, ready to go. This is where I keep my torch parts out of the field. I've got extra cups over on the side here, gas lenses and collets, uh, a few extra torches in here. As far as cups go, I've got some 10s and 12s to run with the jumbo setup, and we usually run the 8s on the regular size gas lens. These are the power blocks we use. The gas flows through them and your stinger clamps on the ear. In this container, I've got some collets, some gas lenses, 332 and 18. The jumbos are all 8th and the regulars are 332. We cut our tungsten in half and use the back cap, keeping our torch as small as possible. Here's a size 17 flex head with the gas valve. And here's a 26 FV. Lots of 2% thoriated tungsten, 1 and 332. In this organizer, I have couplings, adapters, collets, a few other spare parts. I keep a spare 200 amp 50 foot torch for the 200, as well as 250 amp 25 footers for the smaller welders. Most of the parts and consumables you saw in this video are in my Amazon storefront, linked in the description down below. I hope this video was helpful. If it wasn't, make sure you don't subscribe. That's the best way to let me know you don't want any more similar content. Until next time, I'm Drew and I'm Building America.